Hello, this is Dr. Yukon Suckett, Adam Comley, Good MTG, and I just wanted to put out a quick video talking about today's surprise banning. I, I can't say I'm too surprised. I'm surprised they're actually doing something that should have been done a long time ago. It's a new card. It's Ley Line of Resonance. Let's take a look at that. There it is. You can see it's from uh, Duskmorn, and it's that mono red it's aggro super card that comes out for free and allows them to double every instant and sorcery that they play for the rest of the game. Yeah, no kidding. No effing kidding, man. This thing should have been banned. Shouldn't it have been released. It is obvious it is too much. I mean, if we're paying full price for it, sure, it's fine. But getting it out, if you have it in your opening hand, that is a ridiculous cost. Ridiculous. Anyways, uh, the effective date is today. Where is it banned? It's not technically banned. It's banned in standard, but not in regular paper standard. In fact, it's not in a lot of standard. It's, st it's banned specifically in arena and just for best of one play. Good news for me, that's all I play. I play in arena, I play standard, and I play best of one. And so that means Leyline of Residence is effectively banned. And ding dong, the witch is dead. We do not have to see it anymore. Uh, let's just read this up real quick. Uh, we love fa fast and fun magic. This is especially true for MTG Arena. We were a guiding philosophy is fast, fun, magic for everyone, anywhere. What's critical is it has to be fast and fun for both players involved, absolutely. Fast without the fun undermines the purpose of playing the game. And this is the issue that where both we and the player community have obsessed with ley line of residence on MTG Arena. It disrupts normal play in best of one and has led to decision to ban the card in best of one standard constructed only in Arena and to suspend it in Alchemy until it can be released with the rebalanced card. Back in 2019, we made a similarly targeted adjustment with Nexus of Fate for similar reasons, where Nexus of Fate made the gunplay unfun through a long loop that couldn't be shortcut to the win. Ley line of residence made gameplay unfun by making it so there wasn't much playing involved. Either folks play Leyland of Resident decks concede with their initial hand because they're dissatisfied with the draw or are unable to mulligan down to a winning solution or they win within the first few turns of play. This is especially problematic in best of one constructive formats where players on the opposite side of the battlefield win or lose the game with little or no decision making on their part and no option to the sideboard is possible solutions for subsequent games. All right, so there we go. Thank God it's gone. Ley Lion of Residence, for me, is no longer an issue, and that is fantastic. So mark your calendars, people. Today was a fantastic day in Magic the Gathering. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon.